We've got gacha revenue, okay? This is where we find out what games are cooked, what games are chalked, and the overall situation, right? Now, real quick, I'm going to group these together so we can see the global markets and pair everything, okay? Because that's what really matters. Hello, YouTube, okay? We are analyzing the gacha revenue okay now this matters because it tells you what games are doing good what games are doing bad and for those who don't want to understand why it's such a big deal when a game makes a lot of money versus a game that makes no money is that the future predictions of what that game can do are very very different you know a game like conquest star rail netting 67 million this month mind you is gonna have a lot better futures than a game like counterside who just made 190k you know, I feel like the next update of Counterside is not going to be as big in depth and the longevity of the game is going to have no comparison to games that make millions of dollars. OK, this is not a popularity chart. Can we please not ourselves? OK, and if you do like this video, please subscribe, comment, like, you know, all the good stuff. I ain't going to judge. I appreciate it if you do leave it. I appreciate it if you, you know, try and help the channel grow in any way, shape or form. Anyway, regardless, top of the list. Are we surprised with the facial release that it was? On guys star rail okay that banner was absolutely crazy right and this is global this pairs everything in so this includes china this includes japan this is the east and the west it's everything okay love and deep space dude i am not surprised that this game is still running like dude the amount of gunas the amount of gunas um <laughs> they just narrowly missed out in terms of how hard people simp for face out versus how hard people simp for their, you know, um, 3D boys. Will being that low makes you believe these numbers are accurate? No, these numbers are accurate, but you need to take into account, and I will say this now as well, while we're early into the video, these are only mobile numbers. This is purchases through Android and iOS, and it is not factoring in PC sales. Right? As a guy who only plays gotchas on PC, my funding will never be put into these. Because when I buy my monthly passes, when I top up, it's all done on the computer. Okay? Love and space stream win. Um, if this video gets 5,000 likes. <laughs> Dude, you guys... You, you... I gotta, I gotta set a goal somehow. <laughs> but yeah, that's what this does factor in. Now, anyway, back to it. Genshin being a 45 million is interesting to me, given Natland just came out. And are they not on a banner right now what was the most released banner oh what was the most recently released banner for genshin impact genshin impact newest banner because i'm out of loop with genshin okay i am out of loop with genshin zillonen shilonen i'm guessing oh no that's october 9th so that's hmm next banner so if we scroll down is it gonna show me or is this your upper scam all right here we go so genshin pretty much ran the kinich release which was the big new character okay this guy was a was a a lot of people enjoyed him a lot of people thought he was cool at least from what i saw on twitter and a little bit of twitch people were kind of down to see this guy uh and a rerun of raiden may this is always going to be a banger the raiden in every hoyo verse game does insane insane numbers okay but with that being said ain't even close to honk guy baby Ain't even closer, man. He just easy skip. Oh, really? Incoming next patch for Genshin. Oh, dude, the next patch for for Genshin. I have no idea what they're gonna be doing, but hey, we'll we'll tackle that sensor tower when it comes to us, and we'll see what's cooking there. Now, going further down the line, you have FK Journey. That game, I am surprised it is as big as it is. You literally don't play it, but hey, it is what it is. Zenless still being alive is a huge W. I personally am kind of on the edge of teetering between playing this game every other day or dropping it entirely because we're about to get Girls Frontline 2 and I want to put a lot of time into that game when it first comes out. But that being said, for the amount of people saying that Zenless was cooked and we had no chance for this thing to be a mainstay, crazy. Absolutely insane. I don't know how anyone actually thought that, right? You don't understand the power that Hoyoverse has when it comes to creating Guna games right? We saw the Jane Doe trailer. We knew what we were looking at, okay? I, now look, I wasn't a big fan of the trailer because I thought it was a bit over the top, but it did work, did it not? It did its thing. It did its thing, baby. So yeah, dude, obviously on top, you got the three Hoyo Titans, ZZZ, Genshin Impact, and Honkai Star Rail. Like, obviously they're going to be goaded right now. Dragon Ball Z, I guess it's really popular. I know nothing about it to really comment, but Dragon Ball Z as a franchise is massive, right? Honkai Impact 3rd, XHLR collab is wild. It is huge, right? It doesn't come until October, correct? So I wonder if these numbers will actually start putting um, Impact 3rd on the map. Because I don't know if Impact 3rd is on this, or if it is, I believave it's low. Yeah, there you go. It's about 3 million, a, a two, 2 to 3 million average a month. Now, that's still absurdly good for a gacha game. But if you're putting that in comparison to Hoyo's Titans, it's kind of small. It's 10%. It is 10% of what it 
of what its, you know, siblings are, essentially. But besides that, dude, Naruto on CN is 24 mil is crazy to me. Uma Musume, fun fact, if you're a uh, enjoyer of this, I don't know anyone who even knows what the hell's going on with Uma Musume, but... It's getting a worldwide release, which is really funny to me. And then we go down and down. Obviously, you got Fake Grand Order bagging 20 mil still. It is a long mainstay game. Arknight's making 18 mil is super interesting because it makes me wonder what Arknight's end field is going to be making, right? Isn't this because of six boss gamers? Why is more sus? I mean, we can call it that all we want, but like, if they want to make, you know, make their characters go crazy, I don't think the rating is going to stop them. You know what I mean? But anyway, Arknight's making 18 mil off the back of a 22 million dollar month. Makes me really wonder, like, Arknight's Enfield, that game is going to have to do some serious numbers to be classed a success. Because when you compare it to this, this is Bloom's Tower Defense with Waifus and Furries, right? I like this game for reference. I'm not bagging on it. But, dude, I feel like this sets the bar kind of high for Enfield. Now, do I think this is going to cause Enfield to be, like, you know, ended early, like, server mate, like, server shot early and stuff like that? No. No chance in the world, right? The game's still going to be successful. It's still going to be good. We have our reservations regarding the gameplay. It's a little bit stiff and kind of autopilot-y. That's why we don't like it. But it's not its not the end of the world yet. We don't have much information on Enfield to go off of. And when they release the game, I'm going to assume at the end of next year, start of 2026, we can, you know, we can hedge our bets there and see if we're right or wrong. Going from there, you know, we have the Nickies, Azalean's, Puzzle and Dragons. We'll go to the regular stuff. Reverse doing 7 mil on Anniversary? Kind of fucks. You know what? It kind of does. BTW just yep. logged in HSR and I just got Yenching Light Cone after I got his dupe in Fake Shower Banner. This game is trying to make me use him, bro. <laughs> yes, sir. That's, that's how it be, my guy. I just, look, if I haven't convinced you to follow this channel, subscribe to this channel, you know, you YouTube viewers, okay? I just kind of made the biggest mistake of my life trying to pull for Link Show. This is a crazy sidebar, by the way. I got an early 40 pity E1 of Face Shell. People think that's a W. I was going to be one of the very few Link Show enjoyers on this game. Random I took pride Genshin in that. Genshin hate for no reason. Genshin could never. Huge agree. But if you could just subscribe to the channel, like the video, dude, it might, it might help, you know, soothe the blow. You know, I, this hurts me. I thought I was going to be getting Linksha, but no, I got told to kick rocks, and uh, yeah, I accidentally got an E1 of Feijal and reset my pity, and I have no pulls on my account, so yeah, random sidebar, life is pain, but we do move on. But dude, other than that, this is the big one, right? The big one people want to talk about is Wuthering Waves, because it's like, oh, it only made $6 million, right? Like, we had Black Swan come out, it made $6 million. This game, you need to understand, it is so PC heavy. I don't know a soul, barring maybe two or three Let's people. Let's go three, six, S5. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sad small violin. True. But this being so low, people are going to say this game is failing or it's an L. Dude, it's just not a mobile game. If you have given this game any level of time, you will know it is made with the intention of being played on either a controller or mouse and keyboard. I think primarily mouse and keyboard makes the most sense. In Minora's mobile play? Yeah, exactly. I know maybe three people in my Twitch chat and no one in real life who play this game on mobile because it is so jarringly like clunky, right? Yes, they added control support and yes, I might change things in the future a little bit, but primarily this game is made for PCs and consoles, right? The PS5 release is about to come out. They're doing rerun banners for the PS5 release. So, you know, they clearly understand the fan base for this game in particular. It's not really entirely meant to be a mobile. It is there for the access if people do want to play it that badly. But this is not a bad sign. This isn't a L. This is not like, you know, fear mongering the game is cooked. It's actually quite the opposite. I just think it shows the level of fan base that the game has on like PC and console, right? It's built from the ground up with that intention. And I would go as far to say, the mobile is an afterthought. It really is. And you can't get mad at me saying that because, like, dude, you can tell. People are shifting instantly the moment they give this game a shot to either PC, uh, PC or console, or they are just straight up dropping the game, which I think is kind of a skill issue. It is playable on mobile. Granted, it's not the most fluid experience, but it's playable nonetheless. But, dude, I still think this game is in the top three Titans, and it is the best game that's not a non Hoyoverse. Uh, gotcha title. Next up, we have Soul Leveling Rise. I'm surprised this game's still going on. I cannot wait for it to go end of service in like 11 months. People complain that they spent like 500k on their account and then it shuts and then they can't use anything on it and the money was then officially burnt after that, right? 
it's going to happen. You cannot call me an idiot for saying that. Come back to this in a year, I'll be right. I am petty like that. And then other than that, we just kind of have regular run-of-the-mill everything else. Your cookie run, One Piece, Snow Break, still doing 3 mil, kind of crazy. Honkai Impact 3rd doing 3 mil. It'll be interesting to see what the collab with Star Rail does next month. Still pretty cool nonetheless, and I think everything else is kind of like pointless, right? No games here that people regularly play. It's all kind of gimmicky, quick coin flip games. Persona, P5X making a million on CN exclusive or CN and JP is kind of... Kind of impressive, I won't lie. Girls Frontline 2 doing a mill on average only CN servers. Excuse me. I think that's good. I think that is very good, right? It might sound low, but man, this game's going to be big when it drops. And it only drops in a couple months. You pen by Automask with Gets some crazy. Punk. Go to Tower of God, Dead, Tower of Fantasy. Jesus Christ, I still stand alive. I don't know how. Out of Plane, 500k. Girls Frontline, the original one, 200k. Counterside, and then 10k. And then, yeah, the other three games straight up not enough money to even record data with slash end of service dead. So yeah, it's like, it is what it is. As people for gotcha, what, Summoner's War? Is that what you're talking about? I have no idea. Cat Summoner Fantasy War. check. 8 mil. 8 mil on Summoner's War, so still doing good. And Cat Fantasy, brother? It's pretty low down, but like, this game? Whoa! Did they have a fucking collab with God himself or some shit? What, what is that? What is that? They just... They just 6x'd. Wait a minute. Wait, they're back. Hold on a minute. I am shook. Jesus Christ. But yeah, I reckon, look, if out of all of this information that we have in front of us, my bold prediction is our game, our CN exclusive game right now, GFL 2, Girls Frontline 2, December 4th it releases, the January Sensory Tower update of the retrospect of all of December, brother, I think it might crack the Hoyoverse ones for the first release. It might do like 30 mil, in my opinion, like first month, because it's got a lot of hype behind it. It's got a lot of hype behind it. I know it doesn't have a lot of pre-regs now, but it might. But that's my bold prediction. Anyway, if you do like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you agree with me or disagree, leave a comment below. Tell me why. I like to see some feedback and criticisms. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.